everyone and welcome back to H2 Combo. Today we're going to discuss this weekend's terror raid. This is actually a special edition terror raid. It looks like we're going to be getting the mightiest mark on a Pikachu of all things, which is appropriate because coming up on February 20, I thought it was 26, but apparently they're saying it's going to be announced on the 27th of this month that it's going to be Pokemon Day. We're supposed to be getting a lot of big news coming this weekend or on Monday or whatever day they're trying to say it's going to be, but we're supposed to be getting a lot lot dropped we already talked about some dlc possibly being announced a new pokemon game has been talked about maybe even dropping and updating the game boy games and game boy advance games on nintendo switch online there's nothing official there has supposedly been some things discussed but uh i'm not going to go into any of those only going to talk about the facts and that is this terror raid now i'm not going to be doing a giveaway just for this one i i have some shinies that i have stored up to give out on the next giveaway but this looks like it's just going to be this weekend only which is appropriate I, I don't see why you would need to do one twice in a row here but this is nice to have this one will have the mightiest mark it will be going on this weekend from friday february 24th all the way to monday the 27th so be sure to jump in and get your special edition pikachu i, I i'm assuming it's not gonna have a hat uh i don't i don't see a hat the only thing I see on its head is that it's going to be water type of all things. So this is going to be very, very interesting. And I'm going to briefly go over how you can tackle this guy, which shouldn't give you any trouble, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, I just want to say before I get started, thank you so much for all the views and all the likes and all the comments that you give. I read every single one of them. I try to respond as quickly as I possibly can. I appreciate every little bit of comment and suggestion you may have. So I'm going to bring up some suggestions from previous raids and how you can tackle this and some things you may not know and might all of a sudden be aware of and uh on this one i just kind of want people to go in really prepared i think we're all going to be okay going into this one um i will say this typical I'm, let me just jump right in and talk about the strategy uh the strategy is you can use the slow bro method or the slow bro with the um the acupressure uh, that whole little combination acupressure basically will boost your stat if you don't know this by two a random stat and if, if it's already max it's just going to pick another one and basically people were using that on to to their slow bro getting it boosted all the way up to whatever and then hitting it with store power that's typically the strategy and i've already you can see that in other videos that i've actually posted about and it does work if you get in a good group with people on discord y'all can raid all day with these kind of things so it's very very useful however the suggestion i'm going to make if you're gonna go that path is build a slow king and yes i already know what some people are gonna say asu slow king is a water type it's weak to thunder it's weak to lightning okay well with that being said you can obviously bring in a gastro if you really want to with storm drain there's other things that have storm drain but only gastrodon seems to have a good bit of defense and then i already know somebody else is saying this h2 pikachu also gets grass move it will destroy this thing yes i am aware of that but i'm just announcing out if you want to get rid of the water type attacks which i really don't think you're gonna have to in this matchup so i i don't really see a point in bringing a gastrodon in but i mean if you wanted to you know you do you that that's how this works but actually i don't think you're gonna have to really worry about the thunder at all because look how high the special defense is on the slow king the slow king's special defense is through the roof it is literally at max 100 level it's 300 50 and we're going to look at the toe scroll real quickly it's even higher it even has a higher special defense and you're like what well, h2 why are you bringing up this why why are you talking about toad scroll of all things well if you saw in my previous video it gets acupressure and it is one of the ones i've been actually using and just to clarify i did use it in the previous raid up against gray ninja a lot of people I saw like probably dropped out of some raids like, oh no, Ice Beam's gonna kill it. It actually soaked the damage really, really well and did a very, very good job. I actually knocked out a bunch every single time. If you actually were in a good group of people, you did, uh, it, it, it worked just as good as the fish. I mean, I'm just saying. So just FYI, just because people knock it, I mean, you gotta look at them stats, guys. Don't just look at how, like, yeah, four times a week, but also look at the stats. That special defense and 
HP is through the roof, it, you'll be fine. So the idea behind this, well, let me get back on track as we're talking about here. The same build you could actually do for Slow King as you did for Slow Bro. Exactly the same way, Iron Defense, Nasty Plot, Slack Off, Stored Power, you could definitely solo this thing without any problems. Um, I, I really don't think you're going to have a problem with it. I don't see it actually doing as much damage other than dealing with some paralysis. Um, but with that being said, you can bring in Toad Scroll here to speed up the process. It takes, uh, I think the only thing it would take is a neutral bit of damage to something, but with that special defense that high, it's gonna just shrug it off. And so the acupressure is gonna boost that slow king through the roof and you can knock this thing out in no time. Uh, I'll also say I did change earth power to energy ball. And in fact, grass is going to be the way to go to, or grass move is going to be pretty much the only weakness to deal with Pikachu because the Pikachu more than likely is going to, let's just assume it has lightning rod. So you trying to hit it with a lightning attack, it's just going to make things worse. So do not go into this battle with an electric type. With that being said, I keep backtracking here. Let me step back. Unless it's a Raichu, okay? Raichu is the only one I've seen so far that actually has Lightning Rod, or, or it's the only Pokemon in Scarlet Violet right now that has Lightning Rod. So you could bring in a Raichu, and I would, actually. Here's the other build I'm going to talk about real fast. You could bring in a Raichu, Raichu with Lightning Rod, so you don't even have to worry about any Thunder Attacks. You could bring in Slowking and Raichu, and Slowking's going to be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. I mean, probably that one little gra grass knot attack that will probably come up. So that's something that uh, you'll probably have to deal with. Uh, same thing with the Vaporeon. You could probably bring in Vaporeon and do that same kind of build. It should work out just fine. Uh, but you can put up a light screen to add extra d uh, special defense. But I would go with the move Trail Blaze on your Raichu, not Grass Knot because that's weight based and it's gonna do three times less amount of damage. I say build this thing bulky with special defense if you really wanna make it. You probably can even do it with just physical attack because this the, you wanna make this right you a physical attacker uh, because Trailblaze is gonna be the one move that's gonna only do super effective damage because you can't depend on any lightning attack. Brick Break in case it decides to bring up some screens which I'm pretty sure Pikachu is gonna try to drop and do. And then obviously you got Helping Hand to kind of boost around. But you know, you build yours the way you want but it, it's an idea to kind of bring in if you want to negate some issues but like i said i would say gastrodon but i, I have a feeling that it's probably not going to be as good um because just because of that grass knot i really see foresee it happening um the other one uh, last one i want to talk about i already talked about before on the previous videos there's the build for it if you want to take a look at it um i still think you can slow you know solo with slow king i think uh toe scroll is a perfect uh, actually gonna get some PT put into here and I really think you're gonna see a big I, I like the acupressure with this one I I know it doesn't get intimidate like the quillfish but this one do, it real really will do a good job the go goat I want to talk about the goat I think the go goat is going to be an awesome one to be bringing into this I already have a build for this guy I usually have him physically built uh, in defense so but this one I'm just doing an example of you could put grass pelt on him with grassy terrain and Grass Pelt will actually um, boost its defense if you really want. So you can use that combo. You can do Sap Sipper if you really want. I mean, I don't really think it's it's going to try to even hit you with a Grass type attack with this one. Uh, but just something to kind of bring up. I think it's a very, very good one. Miracle Seed. If you want to put uh, Shell Bell on there, you totally can. But I want to talk about Worry Seed. Worry Seed, I've been doing this a lot at, at, when I go into raids, is that I will negate out the other Pokemon's ability. Um, especially with the Corviknight, the Mirror Armor Corviknight has always been a pain. If you're tired of dealing with uh, the abilities getting in your way of them always b uh, buffing and you can't break them down, uh, Worry Seed's a great way to go. This one will really, really work out. Um, I would say Mouscarada, but Mouscarada is still, it's more like a glass cannon, a speedy glass cannon. This one's bulky. You could put bulk up on it, boost up your deep physical defense and attack. You probably won't even need it, but I want to talk about the Worry Seed. It really knocks out the ability issue of your opponent. So if the other Pikachu is going to have Lightning Rod, which I think it will, and you did bring a Raichu, you can negate that out with Go Go with Worry Seed, and then you can just knock them out from there. But the Horn Leech, I really, really like because it will recover your 
HP. That's one reason why I put Miracle Seed on it. I think you're going to get a little bit more value from there. And I've used it in a lot of raids dealing with ground types and water types, and it just does a great job unless they got like an ice type move. Uh, but even then, it still stands up. It still heals up, and then by the time you get three attacks in, you're already tearing into a grass type, and you're doing even more damage. You're breaking through that shield. So real quick, I just wanted to go over this really, really fast with you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more, and until next time.